If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot. Snipping out the college cheese as always. We got a weird one for you guys today. I have an article here by an insider, a possible EA insider by the name of Pete Nakos, who is somebody who works for the One Sports Network and is very clued in when it comes to college football news. If you go through his uh, Twitter account here, he has 24,000 followers and the majority of his stuff is all college based. He's talking about five star recruits. He's talking about NIL deals, stuff that the average person doesn't really get a lot of information on. People that decommit from schools. He really seems to be clued in on all the movement when it comes to college sports. Well, he released, he recently released an article that is one of a kind. There's no other articles like this. I haven't found anything out there that was similar, where he basically goes over the biggest risers and fallers in EA Sports College Football 25 player ratings update. This came out about an hour ago. Now, when I saw this, I immediately went on to the game to see if I could find if these actual player ratings update match what he writes, but it looks like the update hasn't come out yet. So I might have have some information here that isn't even available in the game but is coming pretty soon and this guy here who put out this article might have put out a little bit early so i'm gonna go over these player ratings because they're very specific they're very precise and they all seem pretty pretty on point to me so i'm gonna show you guys these before i do as always if you guys want to see more videos like this if you guys want me to keep you up to date with any changes that happen in college football 25 or madden please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now, starting off at the very top, I'm gonna try to show you guys pictures of all this. We got Travis Hunter, who obviously is one of the best players in all of college football. He started the year at a 95, which I think was tied for first. Well, I think he's gonna be number one overall now because he gets a plus two to go up to a 97. Uh, after that, we have uh, Boise State running back Ashton Giante, who I got to shout out somebody in my comment section who basically, uh, when I was making preview videos for this game, he said, look this guy up. He's the best running back in, in, the, in the nation. And it looks like he is now because he's got a plus four. I mean, his stats are insane. He's on like Barry Sanders level when it comes to stats right now early in the season. But yeah, he's absolutely an animal and he's got a plus four up to a 96. So I'm pretty sure he's the highest rated running back in the entire game, although I'm not entirely sure because uh, Judkins might still be, but this guy deserves it if he is. We also saw a guy take a drop. Here's we got Ollie Gordon go down a point to a 95. Michigan State running back Donovan Edwards, who's on the cover, isn't really doing a ton in Michigan right now. He's down a point as well to a 90. Uh, Cam Ward, who had a monster game, I think it was Friday night or Saturday, night, I forget. I was watching it though. He made some absolutely outstanding highlight plays against I think it was his cousin in Virginia Tech crazy game went down to the wire I think that was the fail Mary where he, he tried to throw it up at the end it looks like he caught it to me I don't know how they overturned that but either way Cam Ward got a plus two up to a 91 he's a guy that you know pro prospects got to be looking at pro pro teams got to be looking at him moving up the the draft board here because he's having a, a very good year uh, for Miami uh, we also got Buffalo linebacker Sean Dolick not really too familiar with him but he's got a plus seven he must really be doing some stuff to go up plus seven points he goes from an 82 to an 89 we got alabama linebacker jihad campbell up four he's a plus four to an 89 maryland uh as my phone's messing up here maryland receiver ty felton he gets a plus three up to an 89 tennessee running back dylan sampson plus three up to an 88 and tennessee quarterback nico i can never say this guy's name he got a plus two the tennessee quarterback nico i think it's i am a lava i'm not really sure but he's got a plus two kansas state quarterback he's going down he's got a minus two jalen daniels uh edge a lot of guys in florida state probably going down but florida state edge patrick payton minus two down on 88 south carolina edge dylan stewart down to uh down I'm sorry plus nine point my phone's like acting up here <laughs> as i'm trying to read off my phone while i do this it says dylan stewart uh he gets a plus nine to an 87 he's an edge i don't know if that's is that that young guy that uh that's like a true freshman who's like uh super fast i'm not 100 sure about all these names but if that's the guy he's an absolute animal uh, if it's, it's the one that i'm thinking of uh michigan running back uh khalil mullins he gets a plus six he's up to an 87 so two very good running backs in michigan now then we also got South Carolina Edge, Kyle Kennard up plus three. I don't know. One of the, it's two South Carolina edges. I'm not sure which one's the guy. Let me know in the comment section which one is that true freshman who's an absolute monster. He's like a, a real speed demon coming off the edge. Uh, LSU quarterback Garrett Nussmeyer, he's up two. Uh, I did see he did. I think they had a little bit of a comeback in his last game. I was watching a little bit of that. Uh, Iowa running back Caleb Johnson plus 13. That's, that's got to be the biggest uh, ratings boost in this entire game. And I don't have like if speed ratings went up or down or stuff like that or individual ratings. It doesn't really report that. 
that. And I just saw on Twitter as I'm reading this off that EA just dropped that there is a player ratings update. So I'm restarting my game to see if we actually get to see these player ratings change as I'm clicking on the post right now. So this guy definitely did drop a little bit early, but yeah, there's definitely a ratings update that is going on. So, so we'll continue here, Texas State Andrew uh, Mugak Muguku, I don't know how to say his name. He's down two points. Texas safety Andrew Mukaba, 87 down two points. Texas A&M quarterback Connor Wegman, uh, minus a point down to 87. Rutgers center Guy Zalekis uh, is an 86 now. He's plus seven in the ratings update. Uh, we also have uh, Chris Paul, Ole Miss linebacker Chris Paul Jr. He gets a plus three up to an 86. Uh, Duke safety Terry Moore, 86. He's a plus 10. Uh, Syracuse quarterback Kyle McCord, uh, plus one to an 86. NC State uh, quarterback Grayson, I'm sorry, yeah, NC State quarterback Grayson McCall, he's an 86 down two. Uh, Oklahoma cornerback Connie Walker, plus nine. He's up to an 85. Another huge rating boost. These are massive swings, as you don't see swings like this in, in regular Madden. Uh, you got Texas tight end Gunner Helm, plus eight to an 85. Oklahoma safety Robert Spears, an 80, or Robert Spears Jennings. He It says plus money. I don't know what happened there. He's an 85 now. So whatever, that's a, that's a typo. It says Navy running back Eli Hendenrich is a plus seven up to an 85. Nebraska wide receiver Isaiah Nayer uh, up to an 85. He's a plus three. I've been watching him play a lot too. I hope their quarterback, um, Rayola, I think is his name, Dylan Rayola gets an update or an upgrade because he's he's definitely playing really good as well. Ohio State left tackle Josh Simmons, uh, plus two to an 85. Uh, we also have Memphis running back Mario Anderson, plus one. Uh, Florida State left tackle Darius Washington, minus four. That's a big drop. He's down to an 85. Texas wide receiver Silas Bolden, minus one to an 85. Troy wide receiver Devontae Ross, plus six to an 84. Boston College quarterback uh, Thomas Castellanos, Castellanos is a plus five to an 85. Michigan State linebacker Jordan Turner uh, is a plus five up to an 84. SMU quarterback Kevin Jennings, plus four to an 84. Tennessee wide receiver Dante Thornton, plus three to an 84. Uh, we also have Missouri left tackle Marcus Bryant, plus two to an 84. Penn State cornerback AJ Harris, plus two to an 84. I mean, this list just keeps going. I still am not seeing, there's a couple names I'm not seeing here. I'm not seeing, uh, is it Williams? Uh, Ryan Williams from Arkansas, I'd like to see. I'd like to see uh, Dylan Raiola on here. I haven't seen any of these names yet. Hopefully, we'll get to them. I see DJ, DJ Lagway a little bit down the way here. But Miami safety, uh, Michelle Powell up to an 84 is a plus two. Memphis linebacker, Elijah Herring, plus one to an 84. SMU quarterback, Preston Stone, minus three to an 84. UConn wide receiver, Skylar Bell, plus 10 to an 82. Buffalo cornerback, Memphis Cooper, or Marcus Cooper, excuse me, plus 27. That's got to be a record. Uh, he's up to an 80. So that's that guy's, I mean, Buffalo's defense must be doing some big things because there's two guys that get really high ratings boost there. Auburn running back, Damari Alston, uh, he's up to an 80. He's got a plus four. Texas running back, Jared Gibson, plus four up to an 80. Memphis left tackle, Chris Adams, up to a nine, up to an 80. He's got a plus nine. Colorado State quarterback, this is the dude that was talking smack and then got embarrassed uh, on, <laughs> on TV by... Uh, by uh, Colorado, Braden Fowler, Nicolisa. I think that's the guy. I'm not really sure, but it was Colorado State's quarterback, so I think that's him. Texas wide receiver Ryan Wingo, plus one up to an 81. Uh, Florida State quarterback DJ, can't say his last name, 84, down down one. Like I said, Florida State's got to have a lot of ratings drops. Uh, Flor I'm sorry, Illinois quarterback Lou Altmaier, plus one. I saw him against Penn State because I'm technically a Penn State fan. He did nothing in that game, so I don't know how he, he got a plus one, but, he, but they, obviously Illinois had a good year. That was just one game. That was their first loss, too. Then we have, here we go, Dylan Raiola, only a plus two. For a true freshman to be doing what he's doing, I would like to see him get a plus three or plus four, but either way, that's still a boost. Uh, Florida State running back Roydell uh, Williams, minus two to an 83. Duke quarterback Malik Murphy, plus two to an 83. And here it is, Ryan Williams, only a plus one. Alabama wide receiver Ryan Williams, 17-year-old Ryan Williams, gets a plus one up to an 82. I feel like it should have been a little bit more. That was an amazing game he had against Georgia. Alabama quarterback Xavier Brown, plus two to an 81. Florida State offensive lineman TJ Ferguson, minus two to an 81, and it keeps going. And it looks like I skipped over DJ Lagway, who got a plus one up to an 81 as well. Another really good young quarterback. We got South Carolina wide receiver, plus 16. I'm guessing it doesn't say, but Mazio Bennett, uh, he's up to an 80. Uh, unless that was a minus 16. I don't know what you have to do to get a minus 16. Texas A&M tight end Trey Watson got a plus 11 up to an 80. 
And that's the list. Some massive player ratings changes, some massive updates. Let me know in the comments section what player you think got snubbed or didn't get an update. I'd probably have to say a couple of guys on Penn State. I mean, we're undefeated too. Uh, Abdul Carter maybe could have got a point. I know he had a pretty good game against Illinois, but it's just one game. So it's really hard to say since this is based off of the first quarter of the season. But I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.